Hello folks, Ryan and Trenton here with Natural Aquariums. Today we're looking at these wonderful little rainbow fish. Um, if you watched our last video, we asked you at the end if you may know what the fish is. And uh, here's your reveal. It is a Janus. Is it? <laughs> it's not a Janus. You were wrong. But uh, yeah, it is a Glossoleptus dortii, which is also known as the zigzag rainbow fish. Exactly. As uh, rainbow fish are, they are very active and cruising around the tank. There is the female, more of just a, a silver body on those. But these um, red males have some uh, beautiful reds and blues in them. And uh, some nice kind of zigzag pattern on the side of them. So that's why they call them the zigzag rainbow. Ooh, um, as you can see, I threw a spawning mop in here. So uh, eventually I'll uh, check that for some eggs. That's the next step of that whole process, you know. And uh, yeah, see if we can get these, uh, get these fish breeding a little bit. And, mm -hmm. um, and you know who made that? Who made the spawning mop? Mm -hmm. I do. My Not very much. My wife and Trenton's mother made that spawning mop, and she made me a couple of others too. So, uh, any fish keepers out there that needing of spawning mops, maybe uh, give a little project to your wife at, uh, or husband, I suppose, or significant other. Um, you know, something little fun craft for them to do maybe get them into the hobby a little bit make them feel or part of things you can make it yourself just in case you like crochet yeah pretty simple um lots of uh tutorials on youtube as far as how to make it just uh need a, a cork or a rock and uh some yarn some like acrylic yarn so and the best way to cork is to either buy them at the shop and like get a cork or you can get a cork the other way by buying something that has a cork in it yeah you know maybe celebrate your attempt at breeding by buying a bottle of champagne i like where you're going with that <laughs> like yay time to do you kind of celebrate early though yeah you yeah. can constantly keep celebrating and like every time you do it it that may impede the, the the breeding process though if you're if you're celebrating all the time you might not be able to focus on what you need to do <laughs> yeah every time you make a new mop you celebrate so you can make <laughs> there you go Celebration. there you go yeah anyways uh these fish um like a lot of rainbows fish come from papa papa new guinea uh from west papa in the grime river system um, there's like two lakes in the Grime River system where they were from. And um, yeah, those lakes are now unfortunately threatened because uh, they they use the lakes to farm uh, food fishes like tilapia and uh, I guess carp as well. Mm -hmm. um, so and there's a possibility that these are extinct in the wild. I think there's probably still some left, but... Um, Obviously, their habitat is threatened, so that's unfortunate. Um, but fortunately for us, oh, Trent's trying to show the globe. It's kind of dark. That orange and green, I think. Uh, get some light Turn on there. Turn the torch on because so, yeah. it's, it's West British. Papa, so over over here, and then I think it's towards the north of it, the the Grime Northwest River Papa. system. <laughs> yep. And also, uh, I. Ran to get the globe because, yeah, and I slipped and fell, my knee hurts, but I'm fine. All right, good deal. I thought I heard some commotion over there. But, yeah, they're just a wonderful species of rainbow. Um, can grow up to be about five inches long. Um, and wow, Trenton, easy. Sorry. Can you quit jumping on that? You almost smashed my foot. Well, that should make for an interesting video. <laughs> Um, it did because, yeah. Yeah, it didn't smash my foot, but please be careful. Yeah, anyways, uh, super happy to have these fish and uh, just got them at a local uh, fish store here. Um, I got uh, three pairs of them. They sell them by the pair, so you get a, a male and a female. And so, yeah, have six of them in here. 
uh, with my tin clown loaches and a couple of these cherry barbs <laughs> and <laughs> one uh, bristlenose placostomus named Rocky. Um, uh, he should be right in those rocks. Yeah, he's probably in those rocks. Because that's where his name suggests. He's yep. not from that tank. He's from... If you're if you're interested, there's some old videos on this channel of Rocky playing soccer. They're kind of cool. Yes, the bones. Yeah, he was in a different tank back then. Yeah, but... we can't do it here because the clown loaches will also be interested in bolts. But we can still do the video, but it won't have as much Rocky. He also turned into a unicorn for a bit. Speaking of uh, clown, clown loaches and plants, I added a couple of... Uh, um, Java ferns here, Java fern, Wendelov one there, another one here. So you can kind of see that I uh, just kind of zip tied it on until it um, gets rooted into the uh, stick there. Um, so yeah, add a little more decor. I had heard today on uh, Secret History Living Inside Your Aquarium that uh, like sometimes Busa philandra is, is not as tasty to fishes. So I was thinking about throwing one of my pieces of boost in this tank as well and seeing how it worked out with the clown loaches. Clown loaches can be very difficult on plants or very rough on them. But uh, yeah, it's this isn't a clown loach video. It's uh, about Glossoleptus dortii. But we got the clown loaches because those are your favorite foot fish. Yeah, they are my favorite. All right, folks. Well, thanks for joining us. I appreciate you checking out the video and these wonderful fishes. Uh, we will talk to you later.